Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial from Guys Playing Games on the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game. Today we're kind of looking at a viewer suggestion from viewer Mike M about uh, missiles and torpedoes as a way, and, and he said this after watching our bombs video, because uh, we kind of broke out all the different bombs and mines and how they work, and we have been looking at how we could to talk about all the other upgrades that are out there, and he gave a great, pretty obvious uh, solution to that that we weren't really thinking about. Uh, so today we're focusing on missiles, and we're going to talk about all the missiles that come out between Wave 1 and currently what has been talked about for Wave 8, uh, the Thread Tracers. And I'm going to work through this list in the range, going from the lowest to the highest squad point value. Now, uh, currently Thread Tracers is the lowest with a squad point cost of 1. This guy, you get to uh, roll three attack dice at a range of one to three, and essentially it's like a tracking beacon that hands out target locks to all the other friendly ships uh, surrounding the, the target that's been hit. Uh, it reads, discard this card to perform this attack. Um, if this attack hits, each friendly ship at range one to two uh, of you may acquire a target lock on the defender, then cancel all dice results. Um, this requires a, a focus in order to use and to be clear, it's range 1 to 2 of the ship that shot this missile. Not the ship that was hit by it, but the ship that shot the missile. And it also says that, that all of the other friendly ships may acquire, not that they do acquire. Meaning that if the, another ship already has a target lock, it doesn't have to lose that target lock once this ability is used. It could lose that one and choose to take on this new one on, uh, on the affected ship, but it does not have to. So little details there that are important to pay attention to. But moving right along to the next missile. Now uh, this is Proton Rockets. This guy also uses a focus. And, and this is uh, these two are the only two that are currently out that require focus to use. The rest of them require a target lock in order to use them. Um, but he has uh, two attack dice at a range of one. And he reads, you may roll additional attack dice equal to your agility. Uh, to the maximum um, of three additional dice. Now, this means that with a, a high agility ship like the E-Wing or an A-Wing, you could be stacking on a lot of dice, potentially rolling up to five attack dice for a relatively low squad point card. Okay, moving on to advanced homing missiles. This guy lets you attack with three attack dice at a range of two. Not one, not three, just two. And he says, attack with a target lock. Discard this card to perform this attack. If this attack hits deal one face-up damage card to the defender, then cancel all dice results. So, important takeaways with this guy is he says deals damage, not suffers damage, and it's a face-up card, so it's inflicting a crit directly to the hull of the ship. It passes by the shields uh, since it says it is dealt, not suffered. Uh, next is Ion Pulse Missiles. This is another one where you need target lock and you discard the uh, card after the attack. You're attacking with three attack dice at a range of two to three, and if this attack hits, the defender suffers one damage and receives two ion tokens, then cancel all dice results. So this could ionize a large ship in a single shot, as well as dealing, uh, sorry, I shouldn't say dealing, as well as uh, causing that ship to suffer at least one damage. Next is cluster missiles, and now we're getting into the four squad point cards. Cluster missiles attacks with three attack dice. Um, you spend the target lock and discard this card to perform this attack twice at a range of 1 to 2. So you will be rolling a total 6 attack dice when using this guy. Now we have concussion missiles. This guy lets you attack with 4 attack dice at a range of 2 to 3. And it says, attack with a target lock. Spend your target lock and discard this card to perform this attack. And you may change one of your blank results to a hit result. Pretty straightforward card on that one, just gives a, a nice ability for dealing with at least one of those blanks you could roll. Next is Homing Missiles, another four attack dice at a range of two to three. And it states, attack target with a target lock, discard this card to perform this attack, and the defender cannot spend evade tokens during this attack. This is now getting into the five squad point cards. Uh, finally, we have Assault Missiles which is one of my favorites, actually. Um, this guy is attacking with four attack dice at a range of two to three. You'll spend that target lock and discard the card to, uh, and it says, if this attack hits each other ship at range, one of the defender suffers one damage. This is a great uh, attack card to use against swarms of TIE fighters or other ships uh, that are close in together at range one. You can soften them up all at once with this awesome card. 
Now the last missile card that is currently out, and it's only a missile card by classification, it isn't actually a missile, uh, but it takes the missile slot on A-wings only. It's called the Chardon Ret or Refit. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And what it says is this card has a negative squad point cost, uh, negative two. Uh, and so basically it allows you to put higher point squad card or upgrade cards on an A-wing that uh, you may not be able to use otherwise due to point request or point restrictions in your game. Uh, really helpful card, really cool with the A-wings because you can end up putting a lot of stuff on there. If you're not planning on using missiles, that's a good use of that slot. So that pretty much tie goes through all the current missiles that are out there. Uh, let us know what your favorite missile is. If you've got one that you use a lot and you have a particular reason, tell us about your strategy when using missiles down in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe and click on all the boxes and things that you know around. Uh, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.